Hello, Virgo. <laughs> really loud bird, sorry. Hello, Virgo, and thank you so much for joining me on my channel, Greenline Goddess Tarot. This is your fortnightly reading for June the 1st through to the 15th. We are in Gemini season. Ooh, the Three of Cups Pluto Cancer has just come back. Celebration. Celebration around the home. Something is coming back. So this is very good news. This is very nice. So this is a general reading, Virgo. Just take what feels right and leave the rest. And if it does really resonate, there will be an extended reading. The link is in the description box below. I'll talk about that a little bit later on. And be sure to watch your sun, moon and rising signs because that will give you the full picture of what's going on for you, each with a slightly different flavour. So let's see what else is coming in. I've written some notes. There's a lot of energy happening in your 10th house this fortnight. So a lot of stuff, hip a lot of Gemini energy hitting Korea, especially around that new moon uh, in Gemini on the 11th, I think is going to be really potent time for you. There might be some opportunities that come up around that, uh, which could be exciting. You could plant a seed around that, which could be exciting. Or you might hear some communication around opportunities. You might hear it twice or you might get more than one. There might be two opportunities. Uh, Mercury is retrograde, so it, it might actually be that <laughs> there might be some crossed lines. So you need to be really clear about what it is that you want. The four of one Jupiter Aries. I love it. These are really positive cards coming in. Expansion, really solid base here uh, for a relationship, I would say, or for something coming in really strong. With the Jupiter Aries, it's expanding an area that you have already built a really solid base on. Speaking of Jupiter, Jupiter's actually, interestingly, in the seventh house for you guys in Pisces, which is around relationships. So there might actually be an expansion of love and celebration around a relationship here. Very interesting energy coming in. So that seems to be the energy that this reading is wanting to hone in on, but we'll see what else is coming in. What else does Virgo need? Come on, cards. What else does Virgo need to hear? Oh, lovers, Gemini. So there's some choices coming in here. Mercury North Node. So yes, we did get that there might be two things that you're choosing from. And I do feel like, yes, I mean, you've got love and relationships here. So there might be... Uh, there might be a, a choice in love coming in. You might be very directed towards something, a direction or a person, depending on what's going on. It could be a direction in terms of how the relationship is going. Maybe we're thinking of getting more serious. Maybe we're thinking of moving in together. Maybe we're thinking of moving out together. Maybe I've got two options. Who am I going to choose? And I do feel like that's coming in around your career line as well. So it's very interesting energy. Oh, goodness. Okay, so we've got the magician crossed by the lovers again. So this Gemini energy is coming in so strong for you. Uh, so, yeah, with the magician being crossed by the lovers, it's like how to start, how to begin. But, uh, you know, wanting to be ready to start something, but there's a decision that needs to be made that's kind of in the way, I guess, of it beginning or starting something new. So you've got a, a few choices are opening up. And yes, I do feel like it is love and career coming in. Let's see what else is coming in for you. The Knight of Swords, more Gemini energy, really predominant. And like I said, it is in your 10th house of career coming in. So some fast changes might be coming through. So things pick up the pace. Suddenly it's like, whoa, so many options, so many choices, Virgo. What is going on? So uh, yeah, Knight of Swords. Things going really, really fast, maybe too fast to even make a decision. Maybe there's so much going on in your mind that it's like, uh, I don't have time to make a decision. There's this sense of urgency or haste even maybe here with this. The nine of swords. And so this is kind of what might be happening is it might be getting a bit stressed out with this, uh, feeling pressured to kind of move forward when maybe you're not ready. You haven't quite decided to step into something yet. Uh, I'm going to pull another card to go with that. Look what's coming in the Four of Wands. So it's kind of interesting. 
I've got this twice now. And the Nine of Swords can be overthinking, stress, mental pressure. It can be fear, anxiety. It can be all of these things right at the base here that's coming in. But the Four of Wands is coming in right next to you. And it's kind of saying, whatever you're doing, you are building a really, really solid foundation. So you might be stressed out and not be able to see very clearly about what it is that you truly want here. The Four of Wands is also the happy home, happy heart. It's also marriage. So that's why it, it's some sort of uh, commitment or a coming together of very compatible soul group energies, soulmate energies. Uh, doesn't have to necessarily be romantic. There's a lot of romance and, and love here in this reading, but it can be anything really. So, yeah, I do feel like it's saying you there's something really solid here on offer. <laughs> and so that, that actually, it, that could be what is um, really the thing that's stressing you out. The three of pentacles in the recent fa past. Okay, so stepping up, moving up in the world. The nine of wands in the near future. We'll pull some cards out for you, Virgo, and get stuck into this. The king of cups. Oh, you're presenting as the king of cups. Okay, emotionally stable, but ooh, the fool. There is this opportunity to step into the new. It's right in front of you, right in front of you, or the need to find emotional stability either way. I just feel like there's suddenly it's this sense of feeling rushed or a lot happening in your mind. The hanged man, you want some time out to think about this or to just get your head straight and clear. Maybe you need to see things from a different perspective. Whoa, and here comes the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Fantastic. And at the base, the four of swords. So I do think it is important not to rush into this. There's a big decision. There's a big thing on offer, a solid thing on offer here. And this can relate to any of that pentacle energy. It feels like it could be related to work and career because we were getting that there's something on offer coming through. It can be related to relationships and also to home, but also uh, we could be looking at things like daily routines, your work, uh, even health as well, Virgo, making some positive changes and stepping into the new with that. So there's a positive shift and change here, but it's like um, there's a little bit of resistance <laughs> at first. And that's because we've got this four of swords. It really is understanding from a, a bigger perspective, not just intellectually, but also just from a higher perspective, like even spiritually or intuitively, what are the stories that you've told yourself in the past and what are the stories that you're telling yourself now and reworking some of the belief systems about this, about what's actually going on here, what, this, what is here on offer. So let's have a look at this. The Magician, Crossed by the Lovers, Two Major Arcanas. And The Magician's like ready to go, got everything that I need, ready to go, boom, big decision, big decision time, big decision time. So there's confidence with the magician. There is a sense that he's very aligned to the path, to messages from spirit coming through, but there's also a sense he has everything that he needs. How is he going to start this? How is he going to move forward with this? There's something very much on offer. And like we said, with the Knight of Swords, in your conscious mind, it either is the need in your head to move quickly or it's the mood, it's about the pacing of it. It's either moving too fast or too slow for you. And that's kind of either stressing you out on one level. Like we said with this nine of swords, this is at the root. There could actually be a deep fear. But what the universe is saying is that there's nothing to fear. It, sometimes this nine of swords is fear of fear itself and it, it's unreal fears. They're not actually, they're like phantoms. They're not actually real. And it's right next to the ten of wands, which is saying, no, this is solid. This is good. There's nothing to worry about. This is actually one of the happier and best cards in the deck. So uh there's harmony here, harmony around relationship, harmony around the home. There's stability as well around something. There's something solid that could bring a lot of happiness here. So, yeah, I do feel like you're wanting to start something new. You want to just, whether this is a relationship or whether this is like a, a something new in terms of your career or whether this is a change to some kind of daily routine, whatever that is, uh, I feel like, yes, 
you need to really make a decision that maybe this is what you really want. That that um, seems to be where it comes down to. And the three of pentacles in the recent past, you know, this is really a sense that of elevated status almost coming through. That's why I'm kind of getting that this can be engagement and marriage for some of you or it's kind of energetically a similar thing where you are, it's like, yes, you are rising in ra- rising in status of some sort. Um, but the Three of Pentacles is really when we look at it, it's about working within a group, feeling really valued. It could be around learning new skills. It could be around studying and becoming like a master at something. It's like you've mastered um, a skill or an ability now. And so it's wanting to bring you a lot of confidence. There's a lot of confidence and energy. And the thing is that Jupiter and Aries is right underneath this. And Aries is also very much a magician card, like it's the starter. Let's do this. It's like I want to be number one. Let's get in and do something, start something. And with Jupiter right underneath the Three of Pentacles, it's wanting to expand some kind of or showcase some kind of skill and ability that you have that is probably related to your career because there's um, – whether it's something you've already, I feel like there's a pretty solid foundation here already, uh, but it's wanting to bring this in, a new opportunity, some new energy to be either making more money or for you to step into being the boss. Uh, however, this is coming through, it's really wanting to expand that that sense of value that you have within what you have to offer the world in terms of your unique skills and abilities. So that's actually really really powerful. And Jupiter expands everything. So it's really like get ready or not, there's expansion happening. (laughs) Okay. And uh, also, you know, um, people are going to start noticing you as well. So the fact that uh, other people are going to really notice you, whether this is at work or whether this is in just general relationships as well. So it's kind of like you can't hide (laughs) from this. Uh, and But that's what you're probably going to want to do after the new moon. But it's kind of like what it's doing is it's pushing you into the spotlight and going, hey, look, I've got this amazing Virgo, very hardworking, very skilled, very good at this, blah, blah, blah. And you're kind of there like the kid in the spotlight going, hello, <laughs> it's me. And um, the universe is going, yep, it's your moment. Go out and stand out in that light. Uh, and so it's kind of, yeah, it's the universe wants you to have your time, your moment, which is actually coming in interestingly. So the nine of wands in the near future, speaking of the near future, we have the nine of wands. So it's kind of like you might be a little bit of wounded. This is the wounded warrior. It's a bit like you're so close now, but it might seem so far. Um, it's also there's no more struggle. You can let go of the struggle now because you're so close to something, a cycle completing that has been a struggle. So that's actually really positive. And I kind of get with this underneath the lover's card and right next to the lover's card. It's like whatever you've been battling in terms of love and relationships, it's like I'm over it. I'm over this. So you're being presented with a choice to step out of the struggle, uh, no matter how that presents. And I do feel like it's a lot to do with career, but it can also be to do with love and relationships, like I said. So it's kind of you might be sick of the energy of the struggle. You might also be it might be a struggle having to make all these de- this big decision. And so it might be unite with the nine of wands right next to the four of swords. They're both the cards of maybe feeling a bit exhausted, tired, need a bit of a lie down, need a bit of a break might just be a short break, a good night's sleep, whatever it is, it's kind of like a bit mentally exhausted with all this mental activity and decision-making happening. But that's why they're saying with the Four of Swords, take some time out to get gain perspective, maybe understand a few different ways to look at it, get a little bit of a mindset shift, get your mind in order. So that's kind of what it's saying. So it's no wonder that you're presenting as this King of Cups which is very much, you know, you can see all this turbulent water emotions that's being stirred up, but he's on stable ground, you know. It is a sense of needing to be quite emotionally calm 
through this because if your emotions are getting involved because your head's kind of feeling out of control, you need to have your emotions feeling stable. So that's kind of the King of Cups is very much master of his emotions, not the other way around. And he's also, you know, he has he has love to give. He has love to give and there's love here. And, you know, so where do you want to give it to? Where do you want to direct your love or your whether it's a person or your love of something, something you love doing, where do you want to direct it? Because you've got the one and the zero. You've got the magician and the fool around you. There's something very new starting here. And so this is you know, the energy surrounding you. It's like a reset. There's a sense, there's an ability to start with something, you know, to just press the reset button. It's like oh, I went down that little path. Yes, it was tricky. It was hard. But now I just want to start again. And it's just, it's not like a big start again. Like that's not what I'm feeling. It's just feeling like just to pause a reset so I can just get everything in place how I want it and do it this time around. I want to do it the way I want to do it. Um, if I'm going back and re-looking at how things have gone in the past, particularly in related to in relationship sorry, in relation to relationships, then it is a sense of, or even in terms of just how your daily life has been working for you, health, working too hard, relationships, all of that. Uh, If I could go back and redo it, how would I do it? And that's what the opportunity is here to, to go, okay, lighten the load, release all of that, start again. Let's do it again. Let's do it twice. So it kind of has got that energy to it, which is interesting. And so the hopes and fears you have the hanged man. And that's kind of interesting because this is kind of the opposite of that Knight of Swords energy. This is stagnation, pause. And so it's either you want this or you don't, depending on how fast, how what your relationship with that Knight of Swords is. Do you want this to move faster or do you want it to go slower? So... The Hanged Man is very much a little bit like that Four of Swords, but it's on a higher level. It's kind of like I really need to understand this, not just intellectually, but also in a higher, like almost uh, enlightened way. So the Hanged Man can be that something also has stagnated and this is suddenly like, boom, all stations go. Anything that was stagnating or that I feel like what I'm getting here is that this is a really solid foundation. You know, if that wasn't a solid foundation, whatever this new energy that you that suddenly there's this state of flux, the reason it can be this state of flux is because you've got this solid foundation. If that wasn't solid, then the tower would come in and boom, blow it out of the way. And so some kind of relationship is solid and stable here that's coming in as a good as a good relationship, which is good. Uh, So here is the new, this is what's being presented. This is the big option, the big offer, the big option that's in front of you, the ace of pentacles, a new path open. You've hit reset. The sun is shining. You're feeling lighter, freer, suddenly a lot freer and happier than you have for a long time. And now this amazing thing's on offer. Do you want to walk down that new path and really take it and grab it? And that's the big decision. And this Ace of Pentacles, like I said, it's 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 a stepping into the new related to health, related to home, related to money and career. So it can be any of those things, any of those opportunities. And often sometimes it can be, yeah, like I said, wanting to be your own boss. So it's actually really good energy, Virgo. It just feels like there's the opportunity to move quite There's this state of flux which will suit you. There's movement at the station. So let's see uh, where it lands because there is something really concrete and solid and and it is an earth side. So, I mean, the Ace of Pentacles is in your element. It's something that is going to really suit you. It's really going to – it's going to feel good. So let's see – Pull a card for Virgo. Oh, here we go. Affirmation card. I am safe. It's only change. Well, yes, that's right. It says, I cross all bridges with joy and ease. The old unfolds into wonderful new experiences. My life gets better all the time. 
And that's pretty much that one line, the old unfolds into wonderful new experiences, really is kind of says it all about what we've been talking about in this reading. And so, yeah, it is like be open to these wonderful new experiences that are here, but there are choices and decisions. Uh, So even though you might be feeling pressure or some sort of push, uh, there is a sense that this is your decision to make. And it always is. It always is. Okay. Oh, look at this. The beautiful little flower. Something is blossoming in your life at this moment in time. And for me, the sunflowers also represent opportunities. So there is. this is the time. You know, it's like spring. These new things are coming up. And I'm kind of getting this isn't doesn't have to be like a huge thing. This can be a, a small thing that's blossoming. Uh, it can be a big thing, but it's like not to see it as that. So it can be like a small change and something has the opportunity to, to step into the new and for something to really bloom and blossom in your life. So that's really beautiful, Virgo. I think it's really lovely. And like I said, this could be a new relationship. It could be healing within a relationship. It could be a new opportunity in terms of work. And like I said, with the Gemini energy, it could be two opportunities as well coming in. So there could be two people on offer, two two of everything. So, and like I said, yeah, new, new health regime as well. But either way, you've got a solid base. So that's good. You're coming from a good place. So that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to take it over to the extended reading now. We're going to pull out what cards, what else you need to know about this part of the reading. We'll find out what's coming in with this Ace of Pentacles. Pull cards for the future beyond and the near future. What's happening with this Nine of Wands. (laughs) And then we're also going to pull cards for career, money, love and relationships and really hone into those areas. So I'd love it if you come over to that with me. The link is in the description box below. But if this is where we're leaving each other and you would like to support the channel, please like, subscribe, leave a comment or share because that lets YouTube know that you've appreciated this content. Even if it doesn't resonate, sometimes it doesn't resonate. Some weeks it does, some weeks it doesn't. Uh, And I love hearing your comments as well. So thank you so much, Virgo. Look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.